Hi everybody, it's Mike Stevenson here. So today in this video, um, I wanted to take a look at using Logic Apps with an ASC app service environment. So one of the great things about um, the recent Integrate Summit is when you're having a bit of a catch up with all your all your friends. Um, I was talking to a colleague of mine, uh, Nick Main, who I've known for many years. And Nick was telling me about how um, They've been using application service environments since some of the V3 um, release, where some of the pricing changes made it much more um, affordable for Logic App users to use. Now, one of the benefits of the um, app service environment is the ability to simplify the networking so that you can configure that networking once at the plan level, and then all the apps would just use it. So what I'm going to look at in this video is... Um, just an example of reference architecture setup showing what that might look like and then we'll take a look at a, an example Terraform solution showing how you might build it. So here on the screen you can see I've got my resource group and the, the resource we're mainly going to be looking at is this app service environment. But what I've done is I've configured a whole bunch of other stuff. So in, in addition to setting up the app service environment we're also going to have a virtual network which you can see down here. So I've got my VNet, you can see in the, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. So you can see in the VNet, we've got a few private endpoints, a, a couple of um, a couple of um, network interfaces for those private endpoints. So what I've done, I've basically built um, two subnets. So I've got one subnet for the ASC's outbound traffic. Now, when you, when you set your ASC up, you can have inbound traffic coming to your apps over private endpoints. You can have your outbound traffic going through the subnet um, to hit various resources, whether they be in your network or outside. Now, in this case, my... Um, in this case, my outbound traffic, um, I'm going to... So I've configured this with a, a sort of slash 24 subnet, I think the the recommended um, configuration, I believe. So I've set that up and I've just delegated service endpoints for a bunch of the common services. Sorry, um, I've set up the service endpoints for a bunch of the common services here um, so I can configure them if I need. And then I've delegated it to this Microsoft web hosting environments, which is what you need for an ESC. Now, I've also, just to show some of the networking setup, I've got a subnet that I'm going to use for some private endpoints. I'm going to set up for various resources that would be part of my um, EIS environment. So imagine I'm building an integration platform. I'm going to put a key vault and I'm going to put a storage account in the platform. And you may have a number of other things. Um, and I want to basically make them available over the private network for my logic apps running on the ESE. Um, in the in the environment, I've also set up some private DNS zones. So here I've got my main private DNS zone where I've registered the DNS um, C names for my key vault and my storage account. And then on the, the zones for each of those so here, you, you'll see I've got the A record for my storage account, which I've set up. So we're not going to deep dive too much into the network inside. Just understand that this is here. It'll be part of the Terraform solution if you're interested in learning a bit more about it. And um, we've also got things like the private endpoints here and the network interfaces. There's two storage accounts here. So we'll look a bit more at the um, Logic App in a minute. But this is a dedicated Logic App just for the storage account. Now, just for the sake of this being a POC, I haven't set this up as part of the VNet. But this one here I have, so this is the one where imagine I've just got some data storage for my interfaces. So I've configured this to be um, this shared storage account. I've set it to allow from virtual networks and configured IP addresses. Note that what one of the options I could have allowed my VNet to have access here in, in this section, which would let it talk to the storage account. But what I've actually done is I've configured private endpoints here to be able to talk to the storage account using the blob and the um, the dfs if you want the hierarchical namespace in here and um 
One thing, just a caveat for running the Terraform, I've also configured my IP address for doing the deployments from Terraform, um, just off my local machine. But if you note down here, I haven't configured any of the sort of access for trusted services or anything like this. So I'm going to try and route my traffic from the Logic app over the private endpoint. Now, in my uh, in my um, uh, storage account, sorry, I've got this testing container with a file called mic.txt in it. So we'll look at that in a moment. And then over here, so I've got things like an app insights. I've got a log analytics. Um, I haven't made them as part of the network for now, um, just to, to really show the initial setup of an ASE. Um, but I, I, maybe I'll modify the solution and add that later on. Uh, the key vault, so what we're going to do in the key vault is I want to show how we can set a key vault reference and have that running over the private network as well. So here in my key vault, I've got this test secret, which just has an arbitrary value in it. And I've set my network up to only allow access from specific virtual networks, except that I've got my rule for my Terraform to run here. Um, actually, I think I'll take off this trusted services as well when I probably do an update of the video just showing that turned off. But uh, there must be a bit I've missed in my Terraform maybe there. But um, I'll show the key vault set up in a minute. Um, and again, I've got um, private endpoints configured here for, um, for allowing my um, stuff in the virtual network to be able to talk to the key vault. So the ASC itself, this is the bit I really want to focus on just because, you know, with this being a bit more expensive, a lot of people who are using Logic Apps may, have, may not have come across actually what an ASC looks like and what it looks like for Logic Apps. So here we've got the initial setup. Now, one thing to note is um, it took ages for this to actually spin up. So I think we were talking about four and a half hours that the Terraform was was waiting for us here to, to actually build the ASA so that so it's provisioning a bunch of infrastructure behind the scenes, configuring it to talk to the um, virtual network. And then you can see there's a couple of tabs you get. So you get the common ones at the top. We then get the health status showing it's healthy and it's running. You get some info about your IP addresses. Um, here I've got it configured with an inbound virtual IP. So that'll allow me to actually hit the Logic app from outside of the network. Now, it may be that you want to take it a bit further, and there's a few other settings you can configure to make it so that you can um, you can restrict access to it. So I'll, I'll mention that in the Terraform. Um, Configuration-wise, so there's a few settings when I set this up that you'll be able to see in the Terraform again. So you can see I've got things like the... Um, TLS version, I've got the internal encryption turned off FTP and allowed private endpoints by default to be on. Um, I haven't configured a managed identity yet. So this is something I might look at in the future to see if I can have one identity for the entire resource that Logic Apps can use, but for now I've left that off. Um, here's the Logic App that I've configured, so you can see that's on the, on the plan here and you can see that running. Now, one bit that's quite interesting that I wasn't that clear on before I set this up was, um, in addition to the app service environment, you do still have to configure a plan. So you would see that in your, um, in your resource group as well. So we'll look at that in a moment. And that in my Terraform, that gets set up as a separate resource and you just point it to the ASC. And then you get all the usual things like logs and stuff down here. Now, if we go back to the resource group, this is the plan itself. So again, this looks very much like a, um, a typical sort of app service plan that you might be used to seeing if you've built web apps. Just notice the price and plan difference over here. We can see I've got my Logic app on it. The networking, you don't really see anything at this level. You know, you, you kind of... If, you, if it was a normal app service, this would be where you'd be configuring your network integration, but that's been done as part of the ESC, so you don't really have anything here. You've got um, scale and options here, so this is where you would you would change the, um, the SKU if you wanted to up, upgrade the price and or you wanted to scale it out or anything like that, so you can configure this kind of stuff here. 
So you can see the minute I've got it configured for the basic plan and I've got it configured for manual scale and, and then the rest of the stuff looks very much like a normal app service plan so you've got the metrics and things like that. Now if I go into my logic app here so at this point I've built my logic app it's very much like um it's very much like what a normal logic app looks like at this point it just so happens that it lives on that um on that app service plan so if you notice the plans mentioned here and because i'm on an app service environment that gets mentioned here too um excuse me so what i wanted to show next is um when i've configured this logic app so we've got our um we've got some configuration over here which we'll see come up in a second so you've got all the, the typical settings now when i built these i set them up from uh, uh from terraform so you'll be able to see that in the terraform solution i think i'll probably do that as a second video just to keep these a bit shorter but you can see i've got my key vault reference video here Showing that the key vault um, value is active, you can see here it's pointing to the to my key vault and to the secrets. So the little green tick tells me, from a networking perspective, I'm able to talk to that key vault, which is good. I've got my managed identity set up now. What I've done manually outside of Terraform for the minute, I've I've just given this logic app um, the RBAC role for the storage account to be able to. Um, to be able to access files in it and then i've set up a workflow here so if we have a quick look at the designer so i've put in just a really basic http receive i've put a read file so i've got that file we've pointed to and all i've done is i've, I've just configured that i've used the sas key um, for the first demo so i've got managed identity set up in a future video we'll look to go and set that up using managed identity to talk um but for now step one test will do this the storage key and that'll just test the network and so if we run that so we should be able to see there that ran it should have read the file so we should see this is a private file that's the content of it so that's all good we've managed to talk to the storage account we've talked over the private network the logic apps running on the ase so that's tick box number one we've we've got that environment set up and running so in the next video we'll take a look at the terraform that i used to set this all up and um and then we'll talk a bit more about stuff in more detail thank you for listening